To prepare yourself and do the best you can, take your best shot and let the chips fall where they may. And so as you begin to look at people become afraid of success because they feel they're not good enough, they can't handle it, the responsibility is too big, I've been there. And when you feel that way, you begin to unconsciously work against yourself to make sure that you don't get it. You begin to sabotage your own potential in a variety of ways through procrastinating, through not taking care of business, not giving reports on time, not spending your time wisely, squandering your time looking at a lot of idle television or spend all your time lamenting and complaining about how bad things are, using your energy negatively rather than positively, complaining rather than producing. That's what we do when we're afraid of really making it. And when you're afraid of the unknown, when you're afraid to take that leap, when you're afraid to venture out there, that's a real challenge. You're going to die. Excuse me? You're going to die. In case you didn't understand that, you can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting. Like this is your last day on the planet. See, if we decide that we don't need a pronouncement from some physician to say we have six months to a year to live in order to really begin to appreciate the beauty of life, in order to really to make some hard decisions in life. See, we have the power in our hand. Like those little boys, we have that kind of power, that kind of genius, that kind of fortune, that kind of wealth, that kind of happiness, that kind of sense of fulfillment in our hands. We have that. We have that. It's in our hands. It's on us. And nobody can make that decision for us. We can give it away. We can give it to the company store for $400 or $500 a week. Or we can exchange it for how people think about us, how they feel about us, and go through life and resign ourselves to be miserable as we go to our graves, looking good for everybody else except to ourselves. Or we can decide, hey, wait, this is the only life. Adversity introduces a man to himself. Never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. Let go of attachments and desires, and you will find peace. Buddha If you do not make yourself indispensable, you will be unemployed soon. You may not get the answer, so you just have to wing it. Why are you so busy with this or that? Stay with your soul, not with the body, Rumi. Remember that the insult does not come from the person who abuses you or hits you, but from your judgment that such people are insulting you. Therefore, whenever someone provokes you, be aware that it is your own opinion that provokes you. Try, therefore, in the first place, not to be carried away by your impressions. For if you can gain time and delay, you will more easily control yourself. They used to have. But you're stuck in this messy middle where you haven't yet worked out who you are on the other side of this. And that lonely chapter that's in the middle is something that I, I would say almost nobody that I've ever met who has gone from a place where they are to a place where they want to be hasn't gone through. You can't just go through life just showing up, eating, sleeping, and going to sleep. You're going to get depressed. Like your, your organism, the human organism needs problem solving. It needs complex problems. It needs stress. It needs some sort of difficult thing that you have to overcome and through that you relax you can't just have happiness all day that you have to do those things you have to suffer you have to live in it you have to be comfortable in it it takes more effort to start in the beginning and more people are right about the fact they're like hey you're not going to hit it big and guess what a month in you're not but they're only measuring on months and at six months you're also not going to hit it big yet and they're going to be like i'm still right and at a year you're still not going to hit it big and they'll still be right and every day that you haven't hit it they're going to feel like they were right but they're wrong because they're measuring in days and you're measuring in decades we need adversity we need difficulty we need struggle mm -hmm. you need you need a weight to carry 
And if you don't have any of this, you do not get your character tested. You do not advance yep. in your own perception of who you are in this world and how you how you engage with all the other people around. I want to see that guy who put him in hell. And he thought about quitting and leaving and, and his wife and his kids. And why am I here? Is, this, is it worth it? All this crazy sh and still said and found out a way to get through it. So basically that's, that's the bottom line of it all. We all want to read about how we can quickly get somewhere. That's why the six minute abs and all sorts of shit so powerful. Did, you may get some results from it, but they're not permanent. Remember, no amount of guilt can change the past and no amount of anxiety can change the future. Except that you will make mistakes and learn from them, instead of dwelling on them. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Plato. Today is the oldest you've ever been in your life, and the youngest you'll ever be again. Life doesn't get easier or more forgiving. We get stronger and more resilient. The greatest of all mistakes is to do nothing because you think you can only do a little. Zig Ziglar Forbear henceforth to complain of the trouble of a courtly life either in public before others, or in private by thyself. ...is there, and you're just going to live in it, versus embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. What do you really, really want from your life? If you had no limitations, if you had all the money and all the time and all the talents and all the abilities, if you could do or be or have anything, what would you really want in your life? You know, there comes a day, man. Everyone's going to have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you. As you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies or whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day, it's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out, or it's, it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't have support them anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove, where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns, it sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. Get success, remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. Get success, remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never gonna be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's going to happen to somebody, every, you know, no matter what's going to happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky star. Things won't happen in a certain way just because you want them to happen that way. Expect nothing and you will never get disappointed. Living in accordance with nature is the best way to live. Zeno of Sidium. The founder of Stoicism emphasizes the importance of living in harmony with the natural order of the universe. This involves accepting what is beyond our control and focusing on what is within our power. Do not allow anyone to treat you badly just because you love them. Remember, 
You train people how to treat you, unconsciously or not. The way